Okay, the third movement of La Cathedral, La Cathedral by Augustine Barrios Mangarek. So in this score I put A's and B's and C's and so on because there's a lot of repeating in it. This is a, in a rondo form, so a rondo form is whenever you have a section that comes back over and over and this opening section is that section that comes back. So instead of using signs and all this and that in the score, what I did is I have section A, section B and so on and when you get to like section C uh, it's going to tell you like to go back to section B, things like that. So that's as we move along you'll see stuff like that. Alright so we're gonna begin in the second position and very slowly it's gonna go so again now you're gonna end it this the second measure in a B minor form except the bar isn't down so I keep it up so it looks like this so again slowly So in the music I've written in the, my right hand pattern, there's a couple different ways of playing it. I go thumb, index, thumb, hammer on, index, thumb, index, thumb, ring, thumb, middle, index, like that. So again, slowly, it looks like this. All right, measure three. I've got a bar at the second fret. I'm covering five of the six strings and I'm gonna keep this bar here for the next few measures. So I go like this very slowly. And again slowly. Now you just take that pattern and move it up two frets. Same. Same thing, I can't talk and play at the same time. Uh, and it's just the exact same thing as what you did in measures three and four. When we get to measure seven, we're gonna be now move to the fifth fret. I keep that bar down and I'm gonna go. So again. And I move it down to the fourth fret. So notice the left hand changes a little bit. So. Measure seven, we're here, I use my third finger, second finger, pinky, and then I go down to the, to the fourth fret and I'm gonna use two and three. 
And it's going to change again when you go down to measure 9, second fret. So I'm going 4 and 2. Third finger. So again. So beginning at measure 7 to where we just ended sounds very slowly like this. Measure 10. So again. Measure 11. Got my first finger there on the first fret. All open strings. Alright, so this is an interesting piece because there are a lot of different versions of it. And this is the first example where we're getting at right now in measure 12, where there are a lot of different, well, I don't know about a lot, but there are at least a few different ways of playing it. So the first time I ever heard this song uh, was a recording by Sharon Isbin. And so she played it one way, and then a few weeks later I heard John Williams played it, and he played it a different way. So, point being, there are a lot of different versions. What I did is I took a couple different versions and kind of picked the parts that I liked the best. So measure 12, we have an F sharp major chord. So you're just gonna start with that. And I just alternate thumb, index, thumb, index as long as I can. So it goes like this. All right, now we have to change it. So again, starting measure 12. I keep the bar down. I just do pinky pull off. And then I let go of the bar, like that. So again, measure 13 is gonna go. So if I start at measure 12, slowly it's gonna go. Measure 14. So notice it's just gonna go one, two, three, each on its own fret, each on its own string. Hammer on. 2nd fret, 4th string, and then there. So slowly, measure 14. So those three measures slowly are going to go. Alright, so for this piece, one thing I'll do is I'll practice it in one or two measure chunks. Slowly and then quickly. So, for example, starting measure 1. play fast. What I'll do is I'll work through the piece that way and then I'll start combining these things. So for example if measures one and two you're gonna repeat that so I'll run through it at a slow tempo taking the repeat and then I'll run through it very fast taking the repeat and then I'll do that with the next set of the next two measures and then I'll start combining these together. So practice them slowly and also practice them quickly. So that's just one way that you can approach practicing this song. All right, part B begins measure 15, and this just repeats what we had at the very beginning. So you're gonna start. And so on. So where it changes is measure 26. You start at the second fret, slowly. So I do try and hold all of this down as I'm playing it. Notice everything's staying down. So again, slowly. Measure 27. So again, slowly. And again, notice there I keep my third finger down. As long as I can. Anytime you have a finger that's down stationary on the fingerboard, it's going to give you a little more security in your left hand. So again, slowly. So measure 28. Alright, so if I start measure 25, do that line slowly, you're going to go. Measure 29. It's actually a B minor chord. We're not going to do the full chord. I don't do it with the bar and I keep my first finger there. But the chord is B minor. And you're just going to go ring, middle, index, thumb. Middle, index. So again. 
And often what I'll do on that first string is add a rest stroke. Because the melody, at least how I hear it is, is like that. If you take a look at measure 29, 30, and 31, just that first string, and then it goes there. So slowly, like that. So I will accent those notes by adding a rest stroke. So again, measure 29 is this B minor chord. So now what you're gonna do is keep that third finger where it's at. It's gonna be a pivot finger, and you just, you add the chord like this. So one, two, three, plus the open first. Back to that B minor chord. Now you're gonna hit the second string. So slowly, the beginning of measure 29 to the middle part of measure 31, sound like this. Then we have this little passage. So a lot of hammer-ons, so it starts off open six, one, two, and then fifth string, and then fourth string. So it goes. All right, measure 33, we're gonna have that B minor chord again, except I do it without the first finger. I didn't even put the first finger down. So you're just gonna go thumb, index, middle, ring. And then I let go of it, like that. So you've got, then a little scale passage down. So slowly, those two measures. All right, measure 35, we're gonna be in the fifth position. I've got my third finger at the seventh fret on the fourth string, plus the middle finger here. So you're gonna use, it's a mix of open strings plus these two. First finger, so it's. Now one technique I will use a lot in this, and this is a spot where I'll use it, is the planting technique, where you put everything down, where you plant the fingers down. So if you look at this, I've got everything down, pluck the finger and lift it up when I need it. So like this. So. And then what I'll do for the next measure is I will go ahead and plant everything down again. So those two measures, plant, everything's planted down, plant down again. So the planting occurs at the beginning of both measures, so I'll play it again. So so measure 37, we have a bar at the 6th fret, it's a bit of a stretch, I use my 2nd and 3rd fingers here, and another planting moment. And then I will go that note and then slide up to the eighth fret, seventh fret to eighth fret. So slowly. All right, so again, measure 37, we've got this. This open string allows you time to get down to here, to the second fret on that second string. And then you're just gonna go one, two, and then pinky there, so. And then I use my third finger, pull off, Open four, open second string. So again, measure 38. All right, then we have a little scale passage. We're gonna be in the seventh position for most of it. So four, pull off to three. One, four, two, one. And then I move down to the sixth position to get the E, and then second finger gets to the D, C sharp, and then open. So slowly, So slowly that line beginning at measure 37 goes like this. All right, and then measure 41, you've got a bar at seven, you end up with something that looks like this. So I've got my middle finger on that ninth fret on the sixth string, third finger is on the E, which is the ninth fret on the third string, and then pinky is right there. So, all right, so you're gonna go like this slowly. And you just take this pattern, and you're gonna move it down to the fifth fret. And then measure 43, open five, open four. 
and you've got like that. So one, two, so. And then another little scale passage. And by the way, for this scale passage and the one we had before in the previous line, I generally use free stroke for those, but rest stroke works as well. All right, so slowly that line begin at measure 41, we've got this. All right, so notice uh, measure 44 where it says second time go to C, sec third time go to D. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's go ahead and start with measure 45. We're gonna be in the fourth position. Slowly, you're gonna do uh, some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you've got first off a pull-off. So again, measure 45, you're gonna be in that fourth position. You stay there for those two measures. Slowly, it's gonna go. All right, then we're gonna go down and arpeggiate a D chord. So here's your normal D. Ultimately, what you're doing is this chord right here. So this is a D chord. Uh, it's just a little, a little more full compared to that D. You've got this, but I've got my bar covering half of the strings, middle finger, third, fourth, and you're just gonna hammer on there. Now, as far as getting into that chord, I don't put that chord down all at once. I just kinda add the notes as I go, add the fingers as I go. So, so the measure before, we have this. And then I'll just kinda add the notes and then I'd lay this down last. So. So that line slowly, beginning measure 45 goes like this. All right, measure 49, this begins a, a pretty cool sequence. Uh, in the piece. So a sequence is whenever you take a pattern and then a musical pattern, it could be a chord progression or a line of music and you move it up or down. So like here's a very simple sequence. If I take these three notes and then just move them down. So I've just taken that same pattern and moved it around. That's essentially what's going on. He creates a pattern and just moves it down. All right, so measure 49. Let's go ahead and try that. So you've got a bar at four. Uh, middle finger is going to be at the fifth fret, pinky is there. So I start off thumb, index, ring, index, then I take off my middle finger, and that's covered by the bar. So then I put this finger down again, and then my third finger goes here. Alright, so that's tough to get, that third finger on that seventh fret. So what I'll do is I will drop my shoulder and really bring my arm forward to try and get that note. So I'll play it again very slowly. And in fact, one thing, one way I will often play it, instead of doing a full bar, I will do this, I'll, where I, here I'll show you. So I, I've got the bar covering the fifth and the fourth strings, but then for, when I'm in this position, it's easier for me to reach that seventh position. So that's something to experiment with. Uh, maybe not doing a full bar, but just kind of a partial bar like that. If you can do this to your finger, I don't know. Kind of gross looking. So uh, here we go. See, it's just easier when I, when I have my finger like that. Then it repeats. All right, then we take a look at measure 51. We're gonna go to the second fret. So bar, um, I've got my middle finger on that fourth fret, pinky is on the fifth fret on the second string. Same sort of thing. Now this one, it's easier for me to just keep the bar, like I'm fine, but if you need to do that, that's totally fine. So slowly that line of music uh, without the repeats go like this. Measure 53, we're gonna continue this pattern. Now we have, we're gonna use open strings. So I've got my middle finger on that second fret, fifth string, pinky is on that third fret, second string. Take off that middle finger, third finger. So again. 
now we're gonna do a bar at two and I've got my pinky at the fifth fret on the sixth string and then my third finger there middle finger catches the G pinky goes back down and then I take off the pinky so slowly measure 57 we're just gonna move this down or up depending on what you're what you're looking at um, so I've got my pinky here my third finger is now at the second fret middle finger is free third pinky goes back down open so again now that repeats again until you get to here now we're gonna have first finger which is gonna catch that E sharp, which is the same thing as the F. So it's first fret. Um, okay, then that last note of that line is open four. I just play the wrong note. But... So that last measure, measure 60, is gonna go. All right, measure 61, F sharp major chord. F sharp seven major chord. And you're gonna go. So again. And then uh, you go to this form. So I've got first finger, third finger, pinky. Now you're gonna move this up to the fourth fret. And then you're gonna go to here. So I've got my first finger at the third fret, fourth string, and then my third finger is at the fourth fret on the third string, and then my middle finger is at the third fret on the first string. So that line beginning measure 61 goes like this. All right, and then measure 65, you're gonna do this. So the full chord, F sharp major chord, but we're not gonna do the full chord. We're just gonna do, I do keep the bar. Uh, it's just easier for me to play this line of music if I do a full bar as opposed to a partial bar, but technically you, you don't need to do a full bar. So I go three, two, so you're gonna go. Take off third finger. Pinky goes to the fifth fret on the fifth string. Third finger. So slowly again. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to measure 49, you're gonna repeat all of that again. And then once you get to measure 68, where we have this where we just looked at, then you're gonna to go to letter B. So letter B is measure 15. So you're gonna repeat all of that again, letter B. And now if you take a look at measure 44, we are now hitting this for the second time. So then you're gonna to jump to letter C, which begins at measure 69. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, uh, you can rewind and, and go through that again. Measure 69, which starts letter C, slowly is gonna go. So again, pull off four down to two. All right, and then measure 70. If you do an F sharp seven chord, and then put your pinky on that fourth fret, third string, you should be all set. So you're gonna go, pull off. So again. And then very slowly, hammer on. Another hammer on. What I'll do is I will put my, once I hammer my third finger down, I'll keep it down the rest of that measure. Cause you're gonna go back to it, open second. So you're gonna go. Measure 72, you're gonna slide up from six to seven, and then you have two pull offs. So again. So beginning measure 69, I'll do that line slowly, it goes. All right, measure 73. We're gonna go down to the sixth position. We got this at the eighth fret, this at the sixth fret, pull off. Second finger's right next door. Open second string. This gives you a chance to get down to here. 
and you're gonna do a slide up. So slowly. Measure 74. So again. And then open third, and then I'm just gonna keep my middle finger down there on that third fret on the fourth string for a little bit. So again. Third finger goes up there. But if you notice, for those two measures, measure 75 and 76, I keep that middle finger down. All right, measure 77. It's going to turn into B minor, but I kind of add that as I go. So you've got two, three, pinky, goes down like that, middle finger, goes to the third fret on the second string, and then first finger goes to that second fret, followed by a pull off to open. So it's. And then I let go of this, and you're gonna do a little scale passage down. So again. And then bar at six. Third finger is gonna be at that eighth fret on the fourth string, and I, you're gonna go slowly. Hammer on there. So slowly. Then I just take this bar, move it up to the seventh. So again. So those two measures, beginning at measure 79. All right, so that line beginning at measure 77 is going to go. They measure 81. You're gonna form a C sharp seventh chord. Typically it's played like this, three and four. But for this, you're gonna to wanna to do two and three. So you're gonna go. And the reason why you do two and three is the pinky is then free to get that seventh. Now a thing about bars, bars can be very difficult to do. Um, so I do a couple things. For first off, you want to use just enough tension. You don't want to use any more than you have to. Second is I'm kind of pulling towards my body as well, pushing down on the neck by pulling. And then also with the thumb, add a little bit of squeeze action. But you want to do just the minimal amount that you need to be able to get the sound that you're looking for. So you've got this. All right, so then measure 82. So we start in the fourth position, hammer on, pull off, and then you're gonna move up to the sixth position, like that. And if you take a look at measure 83, this is just a repeat of what we've done before, and so on. Uh, where it changes is measure 92. So you're gonna have that second finger on the seventh fret, fifth string, open second, third finger goes down, open first, and then so slowly. One more time. Measure 93, we have a pull off, pinky, open first. This allows you to get down to here. And then we have, so here I'm gonna use a bar. I'm gonna cover half of the strings. My middle finger is gonna be right there. So slowly measure 93 and 94, 95. So 7th fret with the 1st finger plus the open 2nd and 3rd, and then middle finger, and then back to the 1st string. So it's open 1st, little scale passage down. Measure 97. So again, hammer on, hammer on again, open three, open two. Measure 98. 
Now I do use two and four here. Now the reason for that is because I'm gonna need that first finger free to hit that note, measure 99. Um, you can certainly do that, but it's, for me it's just easier. All right, and then take a look at measure 99. We've got this, F sharp, down to the E sharp. So it, now we're gonna repeat this little passage. What's different is the bass. So we're gonna start our first finger, middle finger goes here. Now we have to use this finger. Open five, I switch to four and three. First finger. So slowly begin in measure 99, you're gonna go. And then you're gonna go to B. Letter B is measure 15. So you're gonna repeat all of that again. And then once you get to measure 44, so now we're the third time through, you're gonna go straight to letter D. So letter D begins at measure 103. We've had this before. All right, measure 105. This brings us on to the end of the piece. And I always find it one of the more exciting parts of this song. So you're gonna go second finger on that second fret. First finger. First finger slides to the second fret. Third finger goes to that fourth fret and then two and three. So slowly, 105. Measure 109. We're gonna do a B minor chord, except we're gonna do a full bar. So normally B minor, you just cover the fifth, but we're gonna do a full bar. Now what you're gonna do for measure 110 is you're gonna go like this. So middle finger is on that third fret. Third fret on that third string. So those two measures again. All right, measure 111. So we have another little passage that begins here um, and it ends at measure measure 114. And what I'll often do is for the very first note of each measure, I will add a rest stroke because I want that note to be louder. You take a look at measure 112. Uh, first finger, third finger. Again. And this is the same. Now we're gonna arpeggiate a B minor chord up. So you're gonna we're gonna use different like here's B minor, here's B minor, but we're gonna use other um, chord shapes for our B minor chords. So the first one is gonna be this one. So I've got a full bar at four, middle finger, pinky, and what I do is I go ring, middle, index, thumb, index, middle. Now bar at three, and then we are going to form. If I can do it this. Same right hand pattern except we're just shifting a up a string. So again you have this. If you notice I just put the fingers down when I need them. So I'm not putting the full chord down. I'm gonna... Now we're going to do bar up at seven and then third and fourth fingers. This is B minor. Now we just shift the right hand to the first string. And then we're going to go up to this chord form right here. Now we're going to go up to the 14th fret. Pinky. Highest note I have here. So that's the 19th fret. So beginning measure 117, it sounds like this.
Now you hit that note again. I will often do this as a harmonic. And I'll use my right hand or left hand. So you've got this. Or you can go like this. Right hand. All right, then you have this chord. So full chord is a B minor chord. I'm just doing the bottom four strings of it. And then down to here.